You're listening to The Cool CLE Show. Hi, and welcome to The Cool CLE Show, brought to you by CoolCleveland.com, putting you in touch with cool events, people, news, and neighborhoods in the Cleveland region. This week, we're tackling the topic of nutrition with Cleveland nutrition consultant, yoga teacher, and blogger, Jen Hardy. She's in the middle of leading a group cleanse that is running from Cleveland Yoga and Beachwood, and she talks us through why nutrition is becoming increasingly more important for today's way of life. But before we speak to her, here's some events that I think should be on your calendar. The Winchester Music Tavern in Lakewood presents Face the Music, a night of live entertainment on January 18th from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. The lineup consists of Victorian steampunk band Master TC and the Visitors, and also local singer-songwriters Anthony Marie Scrafano and Michael McFarland. The weekend of January 25th, it's the Cleveland Motorcycle Show, where attendees can uh, preview hundreds of new two, three, and four-wheel vehicles at the IX Center before they hit dealerships. Attendees will also have the chance to see vintage bikes, connect with other enthusiasts, and watch a stunt show all in one weekend. January 25th and 26th, the Farm Park Ice Festival in Kirtland features a variety of winter-themed activities, including carving competitions, demonstrations, a battle between fire and ice, and live music. The Farm Park admission applies. Award-winning harmonica-driven blues band from Cleveland, Colin Dussault's uh, Blues Project, will play Brothers Lounge on January 25th. Mahal's hosts local bands Deep Sigh, Forge and Wonder, and Youth Palette on January 26th. Also on January 26th, Ghost Hunt USA will be hosting a paranormal investigation at Mansfield's Ohio State Reformatory. The site was used as the location for the famous film The Shawshank Redemption and boasts disembodied voices, shadow figures, and some blood-curdling electronic voice phenomena. Attendees must be 18 years or older, and tickets are available at ghosthuntsusaexclusive.com. Millard Fillmore Presidential Library's last Sunday performance series has booked three local artists on January 27th. Rock and roller John Coleman, singer-songwriter Hannah Stack, and Aaron Civil War, sometimes called the Poet Laureates of Collinwood Heights. Cleveland Stories Dinner Party at the Music Box Supper Club on January 30th hosts Ivan Schwartz, president of the Greater Cleveland Film Commission. He's responsible for bringing such big-budget flicks as The Avengers, Captain America, and Draft Day to Cleveland. And under Ivan's leadership, over 300 productions have been filled in Ohio. He aims to create a full-fledged film industry right here in our city. The Tuesdays, a pop jazz duo from Cleveland will be at the Bob Stop on January 30th. And the Harlem Globetrotters in our area again on January 31st at the Canton Civic Center. Now, before we speak to Jen Hardy, we have new music from Solace, a trio from the Cleveland suburbs. And this is their track called This Attack.
That was Cleveland rock band Solus with the album title track released uh, in December of 2018, This Attack. You can check that out on Reverb Nation. All right, we are now joined by Cleveland blogger, yoga teacher, and nutritionist Jen Hardy. Thank you so much, Jen, for joining us. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you finding me and encouraging uh, me to get onto this podcast. Well, I wanted to find out a little bit more about what you do, and obviously, one of your uh, one of your sort of career paths is is you've started being a nutritionist. What exactly is a nutritionist? Well, actually, I'm a I'm a nutrition consultant, and it's not quite at the level of a registered dietitian. And I'll explain why I had taken like the long journey to get here. I'm also a CPA, and so I <laughs> went through lots of previous schooling for accounting. And over the years, I had left that profession and became a yoga teacher and dabbled in different edu- like levels of education. One was with the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. It's also called just IIN for short. And then just recently I did the Bowman College, and that was a much more intensive program for me and what we were able to do time-wise and monetarily for our house. And um, so it's something where I will work with individuals to help them through their wellness goals, we do meal planning, um, and this is when I work with people one-on-one. What I don't do is diagnose, I'm not a medical professional, and Mm -hmm. so when it comes to um, maladies or specific diseases that people have, I really want to either work with their medical professional or have them like even go to the step up because those areas get a little gray. But I'm more or less like a wellness coach, so People have concerns and they just need someone to help hold them accountable to their health and wellness nutrition goals and learn at the same time, then I am like the perfect person for them. And that's, again, individual. I do some individual work. Yeah, because it's, um, it's such a confusing aspect of life. I mean, yeah. we all, I was, you know, in, in prepping for our call, I just Googled nutrition and <laughs> some of the news articles are like, eggs are good, eggs are bad peanuts are good peanuts are bad <laughs> you know uh you know all kinds of things and then there's you know there's uh, red wine uh mm-hmm. you know you can have red wine every day that's a good thing red wine every day is a bad thing so um you know how do you sort of help 
individuals sort of cut through all of that the confusion and, and find out yeah well that's the thing one is that science is always changing and we'd like to think that we're evolved enough as far as um how our bodies work and how food interacts with our bodies to think that we know it all but we really don't and so there's continuous studies and um understandings of how we work but on the flip side everybody is so individual and unique that for some person red wine might be perfectly fine they don't have a reaction to it um, they sleep fine their digestion is fine they don't have gut issues um, they're not strongly addicted to it um, and others might be the flip side where like wine will give them an instant headache and long term it could cause additional damages inside their body so it's nice to work individually because then you can refine into what that person is going to best be able to digest um, mm. and educate them. Like, um, okay, so peanuts, they're not the best nut. <laughs> they're, actually not, <laughs> they're actually not a nut. They're a legume. But then we can learn more about, like, the other types of nuts. And even, like, a walnut or an almond might work well for somebody. But there are qualities and, and components of those nuts that – could cause someone stomach pain. So then you, it can become overwhelming, but um, you just really dial in with that person and figure out what is their food protocol. And mm -hmm. it's a continuous journey. I've been on it for a long time. I work with it on my husband. <laughs> We're always... Yeah, I, I wanted to ask that. I mean, you know, I've been following you now for a while and I kind of honed in on that. Was that one of the things that made you kind of take this career path? It, you, the sort of your husband sort of suffers from an autoimmune disease is that what I sort of took from some of your posts yeah well so it's so interesting how like life kind of guides you in the direction that you're supposed to be in it actually this turn I've always been interested in food and nutrition and health but it was more like seven years ago I was pregnant with my my one boy and my aunt was suffering from cancer and so I was her grocery store girl and I was the one getting all of her organic foods, bringing them to her house, washing them, because she was really trying to heal her body, not through me coaching her. She was working with other professionals. I wasn't certified at the time. But that is what triggered me. And so, wow, food can really help heal the body. And then I developed autoimmune. And my husband developed autoimmune issues. I'm like, well, good thing I'm learning this mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's helping me work through my stuff, helping him. And it's like, I have to stay on this because I need to keep my family healthy. And then because of that, I'm like, why not share it with others too? Because we're all in this together and we all need it. Mm. The, uh, my mother as well uh, suffered. She was diagnosed uh, in the last few years with lupus. Mm -hmm. There seems to be, a, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if it's me, but there seems to be a rise. I, you know, I don't, I'm sure there's statistics around it, but this rise in allergy, food allergies, mm -hmm. a rise in autoimmune type um, conditions. Do you have any insight into how perhaps nutrition, uh, you know, us as a, as a society, how nutrition may have a, have impacted that? Play role. Yeah. And it's again, one of those where they're constantly like, you know, when I read and, and listen to other podcasts as well, get that kind of grappling with the understanding of what's going on in our society. My general understanding of it is that a lot of it is um, what well, all leads back to our gut and the health mm -hmm. of our gut microbiota. And as we combine live in a very um, clean society where everything is very hygienic, that affects how our body works, especially kids. And, and there's some kind of like interest in that and allergies. But then also once we get into the gut and have irritation, inflammation, damage, which is caused by our environment, what we put in our body, what we put on our skin, our stress, our, you know, movement and exercise and all these factors that can play a part into the health of our gut. Um, there is some understanding that a perforated gut barrier or what's called a leaky gut can be the trigger for these inflamed, inflamed immune responses. And um, so once the immune system is activated, and potentially even triggered to want to attack a certain tissue inside the body that is then leading to an autoimmune condition. That's my general understanding of a lot of it starts in the health of the gut, the health of our gut bacteria that keep the environment stable and working well, 
And so that's kind of when I'm working with individuals or even in, um, and I know we'll address this group cleanse program, mm -hmm. so much of it is like heal, seal, and repair the gut lining. And a lot of times we'll see reduced symptoms of certain um, diseases or reduced fatigue or reduced brain fog, general mm -hmm. sometimes weight loss, um, a lot of times weight loss. Um, and, and to general, like more energy and sense of well-being in the world. Um, mm -hmm. It's fascinating to watch those changes happen in people. Absolutely, and and I guess it's a slow thing. And I, uh, you know, before you know it, you've got a problem. You know, it might have started out right. really slow, and and then uh, so. What are the signs? You know, if anybody's listening and they're thinking, "Huh, I wonder if I should talk to a nutritionist." Like, um, what are some of the signs that? that people might be experiencing where they need to really look at what, what they're putting in their mouths to, to try to rectify that? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of it is if there's any gut disturbances. So there's a question of like, well, what's normal? And um, not to like freak your listeners out or anything, but yes. like what comes out of you and how often what comes out of you is a determination of like, do I have a healthy flowing system? Or is, is there, you know, heart or heartburn or GERD, which is an acid reflux, like that can be indication mm -hmm. that there might be improper digestion as well. Um, so I think those factors are symptoms to look at, like, or, you know, you know, joint pain or fatigue, like, especially in your 30s um, or even your 20s, like, it's not like, oh, I'm getting older 40s, like, oh, this is just how it feels to get older. <laughs> and that not tends to be then. a default. <laughs> like, yeah, we're not meant to feel bad and you know you want to not only live long but you want to have a long healthy life and so that you have good years and not just you know years that you're just you know seeing lots of doctors and getting lots of prescriptions mm -hmm. and wanting the quick fix for something that did take 30 years to progress into something because there isn't a quick fix unfortunately mm -hmm. um you know one and drugs have and medication is wonderful and has its place for sure helping individuals. But to be on a drug for a long run, lifetime, like that's something as me and my husband, we start to question like, okay, do we want him to be on an immunosuppressant for 10, 15, 20, 30 years? Oh, I wish we wouldn't have to, but <laughs> let's see what we can do to help you know, reduce that or see if there's anything that can be done to at least help reduce the level of pain. And so yeah. sometimes it's a combination. A lot of times it's a combination. Sometimes you see individuals that get to get off their heartburn medication because they're able to relieve it through nutrition. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're, uh, you're embarking on this, uh, tw you're leading this 21 day, uh, cleanse. Mm -hmm. Um, that, seems pretty intense uh so, so <laughs> what's involved in uh in something like that sure and it's funny because we've been doing it at we i hosted at cleveland yoga which is a studio uh, yoga studio in beachwood um and we've been doing it for so long that now i'm like oh we're so used to it but it can be kind of shocking for individuals because the it's a 21 days so it's three weeks the first week is an elimination of and it's Kind of a vegan diet pretty much vegan where we eliminate all animal byproducts which is meat and eggs and dairy we also eliminate caffeine which can be difficult uh, alcohol gluten which is pretty much most spreads pastas um at certain grains but and also hidden in a lot of food and refined mm. sugar which is almost everywhere <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> so we really get in the nitty gritty and we work together as a group to have wonderful recipes, you know, and not feel like there's nothing left. We focus on the food that is left that's good, <laughs> which is lots of fruits and vegetables, legumes, nuts and seeds, probiotic foods. And, and then on week two and three, we talk a lot about clean protein and clean meat and what it means to buy a grass fed pasture raised you know, beef or cow and same pasture raised eggs and poultry. And so we can get into like, these are the cleanest proteins. And so it's not necessarily like we're trying to pigeonhole anybody into any particular diet. Again, it's like, okay, we're, we're going to cut back and refine things and then start to slowly add back in healthy, whole nutrient dense foods to see how you feel. And, um, yeah, and then usually, I was like, almost always, they, they wanted me to do this, like, I, 
we talked before, it had been two years since I had those cleanse. And I've been, people have been asking, what is the next one? What is the next one? Because everyone feels so great afterwards. Mm. And uh, it's it's so nice to do it with people that are, again, you have to be committed. And you have to want it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then sort of you set them up for the future, you know, to make better choices and, and educate them on on uh, their choices and things like that. It's, it's actually very interesting. I, I think I would, I think I would struggle a little bit. I mean, and that's hard. I, it's like the, ca- you know, mm-hmm. refined sugar. I sort of, I, I, uh, a little while ago, I was like, right, I'm really going to make a concerted effort. I'm going to cut down on my sugar. And I started looking at labels and I was like, what the heck, you know, why is it's there sugar everywhere. in this? I don't want sugar in this, you know, and it is hard sometimes to go to the grocery mm-hmm. store, what, you know, and you want, you're making deliberate choices, but the market's just not there. You know, they're just not offering it. It's very bizarre. Anyway, yeah. we could talk for hours on this. We I'm probably sure. could. <laughs> Um, but also you, you know, like, like you're saying, sort of one-on-one consultations, that's, that's the real key here is, is, you know, there, there obviously is not a one size fits all when it comes to this subject, uh, for individuals and, and you do offer consultations, um, and, uh, and you've got a newsletter as well. So if anybody's interested in, uh, you know, possibly looking at, uh, what you're putting in your bodies, maybe you're feeling a little bit down, a little bit low. Um, please reach out to, to Jen Hardy. She's got a she's got a website. It's jenhardy.com. That's J E N H A R T E dot com. You've got a blog. You can sign up for her newsletters. Uh-huh. Reach out to her and uh, get that consultation. Thank you so much, Jen. It was really interesting talking to you. And uh, good luck on the cleanse. Now we have new music from Somewhat Silas, released in October of last year. Somewhat Silas is Mikey Silas, a soulful, style-blending singer, songwriter, and vocalist. You can catch his other new developing band project called Apostle Jones, and this is a track from him called Caged Bird. There was no way for me to go. Lord, I swear they took everything I thought was mine I owned I looked to the left Back around a lot to the right Again, again, oh my, oh my Nothing for my Miles out of sight. Oh, oh. I was so lonely all by myself. So lonely by my lonely, lonely, lonely self. It's not hard to write a song. About your feelings Being an automat for days and all days and put oh, so many years.
That was Somewhat Silas with Cage Bird. You can check out more music from him and gig dates on MikeySilas.com. And that's it for this week. Thank you to Jen Hardy for coming on the show. You can learn more about her programs and even schedule a 15-minute free one-on-one nutrition consultation on her website, JenHardy.com. And a big thank you to Solace and Somewhat Silas for the new music. You've been listening to The Cool CLE Show, brought to you by CoolCleveland.com. Have a good one.